morning 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 everyone now then you may have just seen my motivation on monday video and i have decided that today i'm going to update you just quickly on the whale situation because a few people a few people have, have asked oh my goodness where's my words today so the situation with the house buying in wales is this um and if you are new to this channel you don't know what i'm talking about go back a couple of videos and you'll see um so we lost the house, basically. And if you saw how we all got so lit up with that beautiful house, we really fell in love with it. And that was all of us just completely fell in love with it to the point of thinking we will give up everything here to move there permanently. Like, can't, couldn't have done that yet. But so what we did, sorry about the noise. So what we did was we put in a an offer, um, a big, generous offer and oh my goodness it's so negative um like we just love that house so much that we we like went to all the ends of the earth to make sure that we could put in our best offer which we did which was thirty thousand pounds over the asking price now normally in the uk or i shouldn't say the uk england wales the way that it works is um somebody will put a house on for a certain price and you generally knock it down by about ten thousand depending on the cost of the house sometimes it might be 50,000 if it's like very expensive but in this occasion I would have expected to pay probably about 10,000 less than the asking price so we put in the offer of 30,000 over the asking price and the guy rejected it and he just he'd rejected one before that we put in by saying um he wanted more money basically he was holding out for as much money as he could get then we had a message to say it had been sold and he'd accepted an offer on another house, um, sorry, accepted someone else's offer, but it was for, although it's for more money than we offered, it was less money than the, the our final offer. Um, so then we put in a new offer and it was rejected and it was all online and it was just, all we got was a thing that said refused. We didn't get a message from them, we didn't get a phone call from them. So obviously we was all really heartbroken, but the way that I felt, maybe because I've been dealing with it through the period of time and I didn't really feel that it was... Um, the people conducting themselves weren't doing it from a heart-led place which is so often the way with property buying I do understand that but for me I would got broken-hearted a little bit and a bit more broken-hearted a little bit more that I'd got to the point at the end I was like okay I'm done now that's it I'm done I'm not going to be putting my life on hold for something that's going to be so negative and create so much stress now so um, I decided to walk away from it now I know that um, mum and Scott and uh, probably not the kids really mum and scott are still sort of hanging out saying well it might fall through and they might come back i don't have that feeling and i am trusting in the universe and in the angels and the spirits and god and everything that something better is waiting i've got a very strong belief in that and i think i might know what it is um i don't want to say any more than that yet but you will obviously come on our journey with us so watch this space but i just wanted to quickly update you so we're not going to be moving to the house in wales that we all fell in love with um there was the other house that's on the thumbnail of the one where i said i think we fell in love or something like that it says with the house and um, i'm standing i'm not standing in front of it in the picture but anyway there's a house that's all um beautiful stone built um, and i still quite like that but it's not really suitable for what we want and i found one other that i quite like but I don't know, I'm thinking of different things now. I've got other things in mind, which will be so exciting. And to be able to have somewhere that we can go, create some beautiful content to put out here, and to be able to do my writing job that I so am excited about doing, it's just going to be brilliant. So I'm patiently waiting, and I know it's coming. But for the meantime, I'm going to put it to the back of my mind, because I don't feel I want to be in that headspace, if that makes sense. And I don't know if you can tell, I'm still not looking brilliant, but I'm looking better and I'm feeling better. And I think when you get in that better headspace, so I'm going a bit off on a tangent now really, but when you get in that better headspace, you can feel more ready for different things, if that makes sense. So I've been really unwell. I'm sure it was the stress of the last few weeks of university. And now that that's, the exams are finished, I feel... Oh, excuse me. Oh, I feel I'm getting better, and um, 
yeah there's a long way to go but I suppose by feeling better it's gonna everything's gonna align basically and I know that and I'm trusting that much as it was upsetting I know it's all gonna align so here we go there, uh, thank you for watching and um, I'll look forward to seeing you next time when I'll update you on obviously the house buying situation but before that there'll be other stuff because it's all a little bit on hold for now I don't know when we might get to travel again and go look at some different places um, like house buying wise so that's that for now and uh, lots of love to you all thank you for watching please leave me your comments down there if you've been through something like this um, we used to call it being gazumped but that was generally when someone would go in with a higher price um, when you've when it's already been sold so if he'd have accepted our offer after he told the other people that it was all, he'd already sold it to them then we would have gazumped them but I say we gazumped them but when I say that people are like oh blankly like they don't know what it means so I'm guessing it's not something that people talk about anymore anyway that's all from me I have waffled on long enough about the house situation I just wanted to update you because a few people were inboxing me and, and sending me twitter messages and stuff and asking so there you go and how do you like the curly hair do you like it it's quite curly isn't it that's a bit heavy there that layer I might have to go to the hairdressers do you know any anyway see you later bye for now